I'll be showing you how to fix an E09 error on your Bosch dryer. Now your model might look different to this one, but the fault tracing is the same across many different models. This code, you, it means that there's something wrong with the heating circuit. So we're gonna open it up and have a look at the back where the heater is located. And there's a part there that we need to have a look at first. You're gonna need a test meter and a Torx bit. You need a T20 and a T15 to take off a cover at the back. At the back, you're gonna to need to remove this panel. It's held in place by Torx screws. Uh, you take off all these Torx screws around this panel. The top ones will be a T20 and the bottom ones that attach to this plastic bit will be T15. At the back, we have our thermostat. Think of it as a resettable fuse. If this thing overheats, this will trip and then when it cools down, it will reset itself. Now, usually they fault. This is what senses the temperature in this heating element. We're going to test continuity on this to make sure that it is closed. This is normally closed. This is normally open. If you test this and it's closed, it's got continuity, then this means that this sensor is faulty. But we're going to have a look at this first. Put your multimeter onto the continuity setting or the ohm setting and put the little buzzer if you've got one on your multimeter and you're going to put one lead on the terminal and the other one on the other side and you're going to make sure that it's got a beep if it's working so you see this one's not beeping it means that it's faulty it means that this fuse has not reset because this thing is cold now and it should have reset by now you're going to need to go onto ebay Take note of your model number and you can punch it in to eBay and say thermostat. So for mine, I typed in Bosch Dry Thermostat WTB 86200AU and it will show you all these different thermostats that you can put in there which will be suitable for your model. So just make sure you match it up to whatever your model is and they usually cost about say $59. 60 bucks or well, postage just about 70 bucks or so but then once you've replaced that then it should start working I'm gonna head and change mine if yours is working you should be able to do this and I'm getting good continuity there I'm getting about one ohm which is usually good for these as long as you've got continuity on that then that means that's working so that's fixed our fault is fixed. If yours is not working after that, you need to check this sensor because this sensor might be telling that to stop supplying power to the heating element. So there's nothing coming through there. So you need to check this. To check this, you need to take this top cover off. Now, once you've removed this top cover, this sensor goes all the way here and it goes in here where your main board is. And you see, if you follow this black wire, it comes up to this bit. So you'd need to disconnect it there. Usually it's just a tab that you push that way. And then you pull this that way and it comes out. So you're going to need to test for continuity on this terminal. Test for continuity. Put one terminal on one bit and the other one on the other bit. There should be no continuity. So if you put that together and you see that it's beeping, it should just be an open line on your test meter. There should be no continuity between these two points. If that's happening, if there's continuity, then it means it's faulty, then you have to replace it. But rarely do you ever get this sensor faulting. It's usually to do with that thermostat. If you've checked all that and it's still not working and you're still getting that fault, you need to go on eBay and you can look up a heating element for a Bosch dryer, so your Bosch dryer heater element. But then you need to put in like your model number or just say if it's a Maxi or a Vantix or whatever it is, put in your model number and you'll find one of these. And you see, usually they cost about 149. It depends, just make sure it's the right one for your model. They'll have different connectors. So make sure you get the right one for your model and they will come with these, um, with the thermostat and the sensor included on there. So you won't have to worry about that. So just look for the specific one for your model 
if you sense if it's still giving you that error and it's not it's not heating you're not getting any heat it's m likely that the heating element is faulty to put it back you just put it the reverse of what we did thanks for tuning in i'll see you on the next one